I'm Bracken, and I hope you'll join us on our journey. <laughs> Oh my. Hi, I'm Bracken. <laughs> Mama? Yeah. Sorry. Hi. Hey, can everyone be quiet? <laughs> Are we ready to get started? Let's do it. <laughs> hey, folks, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Bracken. I'm Lindsay, and this is Tiny Notes from Home. We hope to challenge, encourage, and inspire you on your journey with Jesus, for He is the way, the truth, and the life. And today you're joining us in our Pilgrim Road studio. We're actually gonna look at our very first vlog that we ever created way back in 2016. So this vlog is almost five years old. We're gonna watch it with you and we're gonna to react to it. We haven't seen this video in years. The reason that we want to do this little exercise is as much to share with you how far we have come since then, because I think there's gonna be some cringy moments in here, but also to uh, explore how we want to move forward with our channel into the future. Lindsay, what have we been processing over the past few weeks? Um, well, we've just been thinking a lot about the, the vision of the vlog and we, want to, we don't wanna lose sight of you know, that original vision that we had to be an encouragement, you know, to lift people up in, in the ways of the Lord. And we'd really love to get back in creating more music to just praise the Lord and encourage you guys as well. So we need that encouragement from our five-year-old vlog selves. And uh, so a lot has changed. Let's jump into the reaction and we hope that you'll enjoy it with us. We love you! Oh, look at Ezra. So Oh my. Okay, so I can remember right now why we started making vlogs. That's a, like a really important part of this, of this conversation. We had just started writing and recording the music of Sounds Like Rain, and we thought, man, how are we gonna bring people along on the journey with us to enjoy the music and to see kind of the, some behind the scenes stuff? So we started this, this vlog thing, and we came, out of the, we came out of the gate swinging, didn't we? Yeah. I guess so. I mean, it was a completely foreign concept to me, but you had been studying maybe some vloggers, <laughs> getting some ideas about how to do it, the edits and stuff. It's very heavily edited. Force might have been seven. Well, five years ago. Yeah, he would have been seven, five, three, and then Silas was about one. All right, here we go. <laughs> We're here at the North Carolina Arboretum for a Lego exhibit. Okay, so we're going on a little family adventure here for the day. We do love you and I want to tell you why. But first, let me ask you a question. What do people commonly wish at the end of their life that they had spent more time doing? Uh, spending time with family, friends. Experiencing the love and closeness of okay. friends and loved ones. <laughs> This was really hard for us to do. Well, but it was it was really good. It is. I, had, I really like that we did that. Yeah, so these are completely random strangers, and I had to, like, must, like, this is my first time vlogging ever. We decided to do it in public at a park, and I was approaching random strangers to ask them a question and get their response on camera. And I think this guy is famous. He's an actor. This is like an actor, like a famous <laughs> actor. I don't remember his name though. If you remember time. this guy's name, leave a leave a link in the comment below. Or if you are this guy, <laughs> welcome back. All right, so on with the video. Friends and loved ones. I would say interacting more with their own family and other people. Would you guys rather play video games or spend time with your family? Spend time with my family. Same here. So I want to teach you boys something. Each one of these Legos represents seven years of your life. Okay, this was really hard to shoot, wasn't it? Um, yeah, there was a lot of fidgeting and just 
It was hot. We were <laughs> trying. It was hard because we just wanted to be able to enjoy it. This was a new thing for the boys to sit and kind of like <laughs> listen. Yeah, with so the, the whole camera. I, yeah, and the whole idea is that I would sit down and like, like teach them a lesson on camera that would then translate to you, the audience. And we did that for like the first year fairly well. We've gotten away from it now, but um, yeah, it was it was a little bit of a struggle. It might have taken like 30 minutes to get this shot. I remember it being a while until yeah. we got it right. <laughs> but we, we made it through. Ten. That's 70 years, okay? If you're lucky, you might live another seven years to be 77. And if you're really lucky, you'll have a white horse and a monkey. But most people live to be about 70 years. Forrest, how old are you now? Seven. Forrest is seven years old. So he has lived one, one of tenth of his life. Do you know how old Daddy is? Almost 35. So I've lived half of my life. Mm. And I'm asking myself, what have I done with my life? What have I done? What do I have to show for it? I have a whole other half of my life, but half of it's already gone. So I want to live. So I want to live the next 35 years of my life doing meaningful things. And do you know how much longer you will be in my home? There's just a lot of background noise here. So I have two or three Lego men's worth of time to spend time with my family doing meaningful things. That's right. And so I'm really thinking to myself. What am I going to do with these boys? What are we going to do with our time? That's a pretty big deal, don't you think? Okay, so that was the, that that basically is the premise mm -hmm. of the tiny notes from home vlog is doing meaningful things with our time with our children, for our children and also for the sake of others like as a family. So mm -hmm. out of that flows music and videos and service projects and other things. And wow, it's it's just helpful to remember that. Like obviously that's at the forefront of our of our mind, but it's I don't know, what 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 how do you react to that? Um yeah, I think you had a good way of putting it into words and I just I just think it's really a neat uh little concept, you know. Hopefully the children the got Le it. The Lego men. We're all still trying to figure it out a little bit. So the meaning of life is a really, really important question to answer. It's so important that we should do everything within our power to make sure that we know what the meaning of life is. <laughs> so Jesus in the Bible tells us what the meaning of life is. Amen. He says it's to love God and to love our neighbor as ourself. These are the two greatest commandments. So everything we do should be centered around fulfilling these two commandments, including <laughs> what we do with our what we do with our time. Okay, all right. it's like I was trying so hard to <laughs> communicate this. Like this is like my heartbeat. Yeah. The essence of what I'm saying is like, it, it, it's 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 my soapbox. But you couldn't couldn't be expressive enough. Well, I and also <laughs> I felt self conscious because there's people all around and I'm yeah. like talking about Jesus in public and trying to whisper and then my eyebrows were going wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And our money. You see, these are the two resources we've been given on this planet. So naturally, what we do with those things indicates or shows why we're living or what we're living for. Now, there's no secret formula on exactly what we should do with our time and our money. But we at least have to consider everything that we do. Is it loving God and is it loving people? Because that is the meaning of life. So we're going to start a weekly vlog to explore what it means to love God and love people in the real world right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So one of the things that we feel compelled to do is to challenge, encourage, and inspire oh, there it people. Is. I forgot that was in here. So it's from the beginning. Wow. We've been doing that all this time. Yeah, we I feel I think we you know, we've tried to remember, you know, our our statement of uh, our vision and you know, as we've gone and but it is neat, you know, to see how it's kind of started and where we've come since then. It's been a long journey. It has. Cool. 
to spend their time doing meaningful things as a family for the sake of others. Like I said, there's no exact formula on exactly what we should be doing to love God and to love our neighbor, but each one of us has been given perhaps an inspiration or something that God has placed on our heart. You know, when I was a kid, I always enjoyed playing with Legos. Actually, once I made a, a movie about Legos. <laughs> you, you never knew what could be done with them. Huh? That's right. <laughs> and I also enjoy playing like music. So I want to use this movie-making passion and this musical passion to create things. Okay, so this is our first our first album. Joy comes in the morning. Yep. What when you see that? What do you? How do you feel about it? Uh, it. You know, it was a. It feels like a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But those those were songs that were very personal to you, yes. and you know, it was sort of like the beginning of the music that we made together. That's right. Yeah, joy comes in the morning. M O U R N I N G. Like I had a very kind of like rough teenage, early twenties existence, uh, a lot of brokenness, and uh, but out of that, the Lord formed. A new man inside of me and I and so there was there's joy that came out of that morning that broken time in my life and I had taken a bunch of songs I had written in high school that were like super depressing and rewritten them uh, with like a new inspiration with new words and new ideas and most of that is is what this album is about it's a little cringy to listen to today <laughs> but you got to start somewhere right absolutely <laughs> that will encourage and inspire you to, to spend your life in more meaningful ways as well. You know, we've done vlogging in the past. Quite honestly, it hasn't been very good. And that's okay, it's not supposed to be. It's just supposed to be real. The hardest thing in the world is to be real behind the camera, though. And so we're gonna try our best to be authentic and just to share with you the joys and the struggles of being a big family that lives in a tiny house. Lindsay and I have felt compelled to spend our time writing and recording music, sharing the songs that God has placed on our hearts. We're just now entering into a new recording project that will happen right in our living room. Right now we're giving away our album, Joy Comes in the Morning, that we recorded last year and released earlier this year, 2016. In the description below, you can find the link to download it. Okay, so yeah, we finished Joy Comes in the Morning and we were getting into the Living Room Sessions. The Living Room Sessions, I feel like, is an album that really started to get some traction and, I mean, again, the recordings aren't terribly great. We did them in the living room of our tiny house with kind of budget equipment at the time, which is fine. That's totally, perfectly fine. So how, what was it like during that season of our life when we were, like, doing a recording session in our house? Um, it was kind of hectic, you know, just having to rearrange things all the time and set up all of the recording equipment. But, but you know, it's probably easier to remember the positive things now. I think probably at the time it was a lot harder, <laughs> but I think it was it was really neat, you know. And I think some great music came out of that, and we just learned how to kind of work together. But the whole idea of Sounds Like Rain was for us to learn how to work together and I believe the Lord has been faithful to that desire in our hearts because now we're a wonderful family team. <laughs> we are working together <laughs> better every day, but... On, on with the show. So we hope you'll join us on this journey as we explore what it means to be a full-time family and we look forward to opening a dialogue and communication about what you're doing and how how we can be encouraged, blessed, and inspired by you too. If you'll subscribe to our YouTube page, that would be a real blessing. Uh, you can also subscribe via email on our website. Stay connected with us on Facebook. We look forward to traveling on this journey with you together. Hi, I'm Forrest. I'm seven. Hi, I'm Joseph, and I am five. Aww. I am Esme, <laughs> and I am free. Aww. How old are you? <laughs> Hi, I'm Lindsay. Please join us on our journey. Okay. Oh my goodness, that was the first time you spoke on the whole video. It was. I didn't want to speak. I not like being behind the camera. So hard for me. You still don't like it too I much. I don't like it, but it, 
I, I mean, now it feels more normal, but my heart is in it more than it was in the beginning for Way sure. Way more. It took a it took a year though, at least. Yeah. Yeah. To get to I a just point. had to I mean, I just had to kinda get over the I think yeah, just get over myself. You don't like drawing attention to yourself. And that's that's true across the board, well, regardless and, yeah, of whether it's on video or not. A lot of people not. don't like being on camera and that's, you know, not uncommon. <laughs> it's just not for everybody. Well I'm not but. like I'm not like a camera ready guy either. I just kinda <laughs> kind of have to make it work so have to yeah well you you you're just kind of quirky and fun fun to watch what can i say <laughs> that too close a little too close hi i'm bracken and won't you join us on our journey too <laughs> we're the kirklands and we love you oh so why do we love you because god loves you you're gifted talented there are things that you can do and bring and contribute to this world because you can love God and love people more in following Jesus every day. That's why we love you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bracken, and I hope you'll join us on our journey. <laughs> oh my. Hi, I'm Bracken. <laughs> Mama? Yeah. Sorry. Hi. Hey, can everyone be quiet? <laughs> journal. I kept saying journal. Oh man. Forrest, don't move that. And don't move your body. Don't anyone move your bodies. <laughs> Oh man, nothing has changed. <laughs> yeah, you're you're pretty funny. Oh boy. So, wow. <laughs> what's your what's your final final reaction to that whole whole experience? Oh, it's just it's just really endearing and yeah, no, I'm 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 just amazed with what God has actually done with the vlog, like more than what we even set out to do. Um, you know, just connecting with you all and you know, being able to touch lives in the way we have, and that's not us, that's the Lord, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, as we reflect on this video, it, it gives me a renewed sense of purpose and vision for our family and for these videos and for music that we hopefully will have coming up sometime later in the year. We'll have more videos coming for you guys here in the coming weeks as we experiment with some new content. With that, we love you guys. God bless you, and we'll see you and next we'll time. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>